Hi, I'm John with Saltana Education Foundation, and these are my sons, Henry and Calvin. And when we were driving home, we spotted a box turtle in the middle of the road, just a few houses away from our house. So we thought this would be a great opportunity to save this turtle, get it out of the road, but also we could make one of these videos to teach you a few things on our virtual classroom about box turtles. When you go to hold turtles, we like to say, hold them like you would hold a hamburger. So Henry's really good at showing how to do that. Henry, do you want to show them how you pick up this turtle like a hamburger? So he's going to put his hands along the side. You notice I turn the head away from him. And also, Henry, if you keep it over our little crate here, we hold it over the box just in case it slips. That way it won't fall far, okay? There's, a box turtle's not aggressive, but we would never really want to put our finger in front of his mouth. Um, just because there's always a chance it might snap. Remember, use two hands, Calvi, like you would hold a hamburger, okay? Very good. All right. A box turtle is a reptile, meaning it's cold-blooded. Um, so on a sunny day like today, it wants to be out in the sunshine. You can notice it has these nice claws uh, which if it was in the pond, you see um, this creek behind us. If it was in that creek, it might climb out onto a log to sun itself, warm up that blood flow, uh, and then everything kind of works a little bit better for the turtle. Box turtles have a hinged plastron, which is the lower part of its shell. So hinged almost like your door. Um, if this turtle felt threatened, it could go inside its shell and it can close itself up completely, which is a really great survival technique. He likes watching that. Mm -hmm. Box turtles are omnivores, meaning they'll eat just about anything that they can catch. Uh, so they're not really going to eat anything fast. This box turtle in the wild will probably eat a lot of invertebrates <sighs> like worms or insects or millipedes, uh, maybe even snails. Um, but at, because it's an omnivore, it'll also eat plenty of plants like mushrooms or fruits or flowers. One thing interesting about this box turtle that we noticed is the top of its shell, its carapace, right by almost what you'd think of as the right shoulder, it's missing a piece of that shell. So I'm not sure if it got hit by a car when it was in the road or it was also near a farm field. Maybe a piece of farm machinery had contact with it, but it's not too severely damaged. I don't think this turtle will have any problem surviving with that minor injury. One thing that's pretty amazing about box turtles, their average lifespan is 50 years and some of them have been known to live as long as 100 years. By comparison, Calvin is three years old. We can tell that this is a male box turtle. If we look underneath at his plastron, you, can, you might be able to see there's a little indentation, uh, and that's characteristic of males. Females tend to have a smooth, flat plastron. So we're now releasing our box turtle, and we're gonna wish him a lot of success here in the wild, and we'll leave you with three questions to try to answer at home. Number one, what does it mean to be an omnivore? Number two, how do we know that this is a male turtle? And finally, number three, why are box turtles called box turtles? What adaptation do they have that makes them unique? Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out all the others in our virtual classroom series over on our YouTube channel or at saltanaeducation.org.